What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode and today I have a quick Hummingbird 360 imaging tip for you guys um, and it is how to fix the wagon wheel effect. But just to give you guys a little bit of background, I'm running this on a completely linked system. It's all, everything's connected together. I got three Hummingbird units, a Gen 2 9, which is what I got mainly for my 360, a Gen 3 9, and a Gen 3 12 Helix units. They're all linked together, all connected, and uh, even the 360 is connected to the same Ethernet port. Like I said, I have the original 360 imaging. I do not have the Mega. The original 360 runs off of 455 kilohertz, and of course, the Mega runs off of the Mega kilohertz. It's like some ridiculous number out there. But I'm gonna show you guys how to fix the wagon wheel effect. Now there's a couple different reasons why you could be experiencing the wagon wheel effect on your 360 imaging. Uh, one of them could be a dirty power supply. Um, I actually ran my own wire for my 360. I ran 10 gauge uh, stranded wire for my 360, inline fuse, the whole nine yards. I wired it up properly and that I know that is not the issue. I have plenty of power going to it. My fuses are good and everything like that. If the fuses wouldn't work. I mean, the 360 wouldn't work if the fuse was blown. Another thing is, um, you are running the wrong kilohertz on your down imaging and side imaging. Now, 360, all it is is just side imaging uh, from your pod. That's all it is, it's side imaging. So the best thing to do is eliminate every way of side imaging on your front graphs and your back graphs. Best thing to do is turn your back graph off, put it on standby, turn the sonar off. And up here on your front graphs, turn off your side imaging because you're not using side imaging up here. Um, best thing to do is go into your menus, turn off your side imaging, and I will get to that real fast. Now, as you guys can see, I am experiencing a slight wagon wheel effect. Um, I can get the camera to adjust just right. You can see it real good right there, up here in the corner, and right there. Sometimes it's a lot more fine. Sometimes it can be a bunch of little bright lit dots, but they're always gonna have that little pattern of like in the sweeping motion. Now there's a couple different ways you can fix this. You simply just go to your menu. You can go to your sonar. And like I was talking about earlier, the 360 runs off of 455 kilohertz. I, do not use side imaging up here, and that is that is where you're getting the interference at for the most part. Sometimes you will get the interference from your DI. Just simply change your DI to 800, or you can go to Mega. Uh, same thing for your SI. As long as you get it off that same frequency, you will not experience that wagon wheel effect. If for some odd reason, I have experienced it a little bit when I go to 800 kilohertz, like I said, I do not use side imaging up here at front. I don't need it. So I'm gonna go over here to my network source setup, go to my side imaging, and just simply remove it. And as you can see, it has cleared up my wagon wheel effect. As you can see, it's all gone up there. That is the bank, where the water meets the bank. As you guys can see right there. and you should be clear as a bell. Uh, just quick reference, I'm running, I got a spot on Spotlock right now, so that's all the noise you're hearing. My, uh, when well, I'm running on my, on my 360, these are just the settings I'm running. Color forward palette. Uh, still playing around with it, you gotta change it for different lakes. This, right, this lake right here has a, has a much harder bottom, it's a very rocky lake. But there you have it guys, that is how you fix the wagon wheel effect. Um, Basically, all you're doing is eliminating the side imaging and changing your frequency on your DI if you want to use DI up front. I typically don't use DI up front. I feel like it's better if you're moving to see the fish on it and everything. So I typically turn my DI off and that, that completely eliminates the wagon wheel effect. Uh, like I was saying earlier, it could be caused by a dirty power supply. Um, I would try this first before you go spend money and all the other stuff on wire and everything you need. Uh, but this right here should fix it. Um, I have a clean power supply, all the other stuff. I got the proper wire, the right fuse, and everything like that I was saying. But I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, catch on big.